So this is the Cisco ISR uh, C1113. Um, it is the um, LTE LTE model with 4G. Um, and that's what it looks like. It supports your high speed uh, WAN, um, ADSL, um, VDSL, and uh, 4G. So let's see what we have in the package. So as we can see, it looks quite a bit different compared to the Cisco 800 series routers. Um, um, it's got a nice uh, white color. It's got a nice white color to it. And um, it almost looks the same size, but I think this one looks uh, a lot better and a lot cleaner compared to the Cisco um, 897, 899 series ones. Um, this series is the one that's actually um, replacing those other previous series of routers. So I'll just take this, take this off. And we'll see how it uh, fully looks like. So what do we have here? So that's the 1100 series right there. 1100 series. We've got our, let's just take it out of this, take it out of this bag. It's not too heavy. It's actually quite light and portable. I'll just uh, take this off. So here it is. So um, we have our indicator lights, LTE lights, um, SIM card zero and SIM card one. So it allows two SIM slots. Um, so it looks like from the front, room for ventilation. And it's a nice and clean package. Um, as we turn it around, let's see what we have with our ports. So, so we have our power port uh, on off switch. Um, we have our um, ethernet ports up to eight ports. Um, allowed on here. Um, four of these ports are PoE, but you need to buy the special PoE um, module and power supply to get the PoE um, on it. Um, what else we have? We have we have the one a uh, WAN port. So this is if you want um, Ethernet on the WAN. So this is a one one gig port. Um, or you can choose between SFP. So you can choose between SFP or an Ethernet port for your WAN. A USB port. Here is the SIM card slot um, for to use for your satellite interface. This just goes off, and then you can plug in um, whatever you wish you want to use for your cellular. And here is the console port, and here is the um, VDSL uh, ADSL port. And obviously we have our slots for the LT antennas where to tie, where to tie in. Um, so yeah, so this is the uh, the router, and it comes with other accessories. So we have our um, LT type based antennas. So this screws in, and you can adjust the antennas as is. Um, Comes with two antennas. Um, comes with your basic power supply. So this is the non-PoE model. If you're ordering the PoE model, so power supply will be a lot thicker than just your um, regular power cable. Um, now, um, the other one thing I noticed is with the with the SIM cards compared to the 897. The 897, the previous model, takes the larger size SIM card, whereas this model here takes your smaller nano type SIM card. So um, there is a difference in the SIM cards if you want to use a, um, the 4G function on this here. Um, but overall, uh, a very nice package, as you can see. It um, does handle um, all the features that you want it to handle. And it's actually um, quite a nice feature set. Um, but it does have... Um, and if we have a look at the below, you can see the 
model number is that. And um, one difference between this router and the 897s, the previous model is, um, this one requires, um, it's got various different extra licensing um, if you want to activate um, like um, if you, before they had um, IP inspections and things like that, this needs a security license if you want to do any IP inspections. Um, it's, it's, it's licensed in the way that you activate features um, a, as you need them. Um, so it just works a little bit different compared to the previous, uh, previous model. Um, but yeah, so that's how, the, um, that's how the router looks like. So we'll power it on, we'll have a, we'll have a quick look and see um, um, how it functions. So here we have the router set up on the, on the desk. I've um, put on the um, antennas. So these are the LT antennas on it. And um, that's how it's uh, nice and, nice and um, easy there on the table and it doesn't take up uh, too much room at all on the um, for your for your space um, and we'll just have a look at the back so I've just plugged in the um, console and plugged in the power and so now we'll just uh, switch it on the on on off switch is right here so we'll just switch that on we can see the lights come on let's come on the back and if we have a look at the front, we see the um, Cisco sign is illuminated. It looks quite nice in the in the blue. Um, the previous model of routers, the 800 series ones, had no illumination, so um, I quite like this um, illumination. It's quite it's quite funky. Um, and as we see here, the router is now is now booting. Um, inside its IOS to put in there. And as you notice, it's, it's silent. Um, it doesn't have any fans and it's uh, whisper, whisper quiet. So it's perfect for um, offices and, and anywhere where you need a, a small portable router to, to deploy. It does have a significant feature set. Um, so if you wanna run MPLS, if you want to run a BGP, it's got various different licensing. Um, if you want to really run anything, it just pretty much handles most of your things that you want to handle. Um, compared to the 800 series of routers, um, it's got a lot more beefier CPU as well. So it does handle more throughput. Um, it handles more throughput on the NAT, on um, IPsec, security, um, licensing. It's got more throughput on the crypto. Um, I believe it can handle up to like 300, 400 meg on, on the crypto side. Um, I've got one of these running on a, I've got this running on a one gig WAN link, just natting through the internet. And it takes the connection quite, quite easily. Um, so here we just see the, it's booting up. As you can see. So um, while it's while it's booting up, um, as I was saying, it does handle the um, throughput very very good um, uh, through it. Um, so while while this is booting up, I'll, I'll show you an example of um, the way it's performing, which I've got another one um, present at the moment. Um, so I've got another window open here. Um, this is another um, one that's open. Um, uh, it's it's got a one gig one gig link terminated into it, one gig download and 50 meg up. Um, as you can see, the CPU on it is only 2, 1, 2%. Um, it's actually quite, quite decent. So I'll just open up my little little speed test here. So you can see I get up to a gig download. So I'll just go and um, connect and let it do a speed test. And as you can see, the, um, the CPU is staying constantly one three percent it hardly makes a dent on the router now if i was using a cisco 800 series router or 897 or an 899 um, as soon as i hit 250 meg on the wan download 
the CPU would be 100%. It couldn't, it couldn't get past 200, 250, 200 megs. Um, but this, this, this ISR router will take in your high speed links that you want to terminate. And it works, it works very, 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 very good um, on that, on that um, download speed. So it handles the, the gig link very, very easily on the CPU. Um, and it does handle all your things that you want it to handle. Um, so I'm quite quite impressed with the performance compared to the previous model of of, um, of Cisco um, routers. Now, if we go back into this screen, we can see um, these are the interfaces that it has um, right there. And then let's click no, no. Yes. So we can see it's booting up there. But overall, it's quite a nice package. Um, yeah, I'm quite quite happy with it. So um, as you can see, it does handle. Uh, it's got um, two cellular interfaces, lots of two SIM card slots. Um, just takes a little bit of time to boot, but it's still it's still not too not too bad booting time on it. And we're there. And as I wanted to show you, it does come with various different um, licensing um, that you can activate on it. Uh, summary. So by default, it, it comes with smart agent licensing. So, um, you know, it's got like uh, the security mode, um, security license, and there's various other other different licenses that you can you can activate um, to do your different um, feature sets. Uh, yeah. So, um, so yeah. Um, for me, it's the licensing part is a bit it's a bit complex, but once you get a, the hang of it, it's um, it's 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 not it's not too bad. It's just you got to fork out a bit of more money um, for the licensing um, part to enable to whichever um, features you want it to you want it to have. Um, so that's the inventory of the model. So it does have a um, it does have a Sierra Wireless seven four five five seven four three zero chipset on it. Um, also notice the the um, ADSL slot. It does it does do um, VDSL, ADSL one, two, two plus, and NXA. Um, also note it does do the um, GFast. So if you've got a GFast connection, um, it will handle a GFast based um, termination as well. So you've got quite a range of different options on this router um, to handle any type of WAN that you want it to handle. So, um, so if you want to have incoming WAN coming in on the coming in on this on the Ethernet port, and then um, you can have your backup on the on the LTE side of there to handle your connections. But overall, um, this is the the router, and um, it's it's quite a nice package, and um, it does handle the speeds that you want it to handle for um, for your, for um, any type of office that you want it to. Um, to deploy to. Uh, thank you for watching the video, and um, hopefully, this is um, this is uh, useful for you if you're looking to um, purchase um, this particular model of the new Cisco RSI router.